What's up? So I'm down on the indoor trainer. It's the day after Christmas. It is about 16 degrees out and we just got a ton of snow on Christmas Eve. So I decided I'm gonna try and do the uh, Rafa Festa 500, which is 500 kilometers between Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. I'm already behind. I didn't ride on Christmas Day. We just hung out. I only got 25 in on um, miles. I'm already tired. <laughs> Only got 25 miles in on Christmas Eve. So this would be a pretty hard to pull off. Next week's weather looks good. So if I could get outside, that'd make a big difference. It's gonna come down to, I, do I have the time? Will my body uh, hold up? Because anyone who's watched my videos knows this summer wasn't easy for me. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I'm not like, Hell bent on pulling it off. I just think it'd be cool. This is also the first year you're able to do indoor trainer miles. I would have no chance if it wasn't for that. Today my goal is to do 30 miles, which still puts me behind, at least in this session on the trainer. Might ride Darren's later to get six or ten more in. Long way to go for today. But yeah, I think I'm gonna check in, try and vlog it. Didn't do it on Thursday, didn't have time, trying to get work done, trying to get out for Christmas Eve and all that. Just went over errands and hung out with Aaron and Ben. All right, check in again later. All right, so I ended up doing 50 miles on the trainer yesterday, a half century. After 20 or 30 miles, I got off, grabbed a sip of water, hit the bathroom, ate a couple snacks, and after about five minutes, I was back on and I just kept going and I just felt it. I think I feel all right today. I went for a hike, don't feel too bad. Back is a little tight, but I need to be over 50 miles every day to really complete the uh, challenge. So now I'm about to find out if if I have it in me. We'll see what happens today. Uh, I just picked a route that's about 40 miles and I'm just gonna see how far I can keep going. It's early enough though that if I don't go far enough, maybe I'll try it again later, um, put a couple of miles more in this evening. We'll see what happens. All right. 30 miles in today, 1,700 feet of climbing. So this ride's a little climbier than I wanted for trying to get miles done, but I also wanted to change up the route so I didn't get bored. I'm tired. I think I can pull up the next 20 though. So we'll see. Yeah. Using up for some food and water. I can't even remember if I already said that. <laughs> All right. I finished the 50 miles and I am absolute toast. Um, uh, I hit 35 and I was starting to really feel it, but my route was like 43. So to get the route badge on Swift, I'm like gonna try and keep the pace high until at least then. Um, and I did, and then I chilled out for the next mile or two and then I picked it up, but not to a crazy level to finish um, 50 and I'm exhausted. So my hopes for getting my yearly goal are now very real and probably uh, totally attainable and shouldn't be a problem unless something crazy happens. And I did keep the hopes alive for the Rafa Festa 500 now by getting another 50 miles in. It's just whether I could do this every day for the rest of the year. So we'll see. All right, dude. So it's Monday. Um, I've done 50 miles each of the last two days. So I am on track that if I do 50 miles every day until New Year's Eve, I will actually get the challenge done. Um, the festive 500, I'm not feeling it today. It's going to be tough, tough to get close to 50 miles in, but I'm gonna give it a go and maybe it'll just take a little longer. We'll see how it goes. I'll check in in a minute. All right, so I'm taking a little break. Um, 30 miles in, 1700 feet of elevation, an hour and 25 minutes. So I'm actually taking a full off the bike break, which I don't think I even did yesterday, but probably just a couple minutes, two, three minutes, but I really got to stretch my legs and refill the water and eat something. So I'm gonna try and get that next 20 and it's gonna be tough. Well, I made it another 50. Uh, today actually, for as much as I was dreading, it wasn't as bad as yesterday was. 
Um, I got to the close to the end, like 45 miles in, and I finally found some people who I could draft off of, which I haven't been able to do the last couple days. Just I have a hard time not riding at my own pace, but so it's nice when I do find people I could ride with. But of course, I find these people about a mile from where it starts to get real climby, and uh, I was not. I'm already 2,381 feet of elevation in, and I wasn't about to climb again, and I pulled a straight U-turn and rode the last five miles on the flat alone, but yeah, three more days. Let's see if I can keep it up. <laughs> so it is Tuesday, and I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm doing a social ride on Zwift. The cool thing is, is it's for the Wrap Up Festa 500, but it's with Alberto Betiol of EF, my favorite team. So I got my hat on. But um, yeah, so he's in the chat. I've never heard him speak English, but it must be translated. Or he does speak English, and I just didn't know that. But uh, yeah, he's the winner of the Tour of Flanders uh, in 2019. So yeah, it's supposed to be kind of chill. So I think I'll do the chill ride as long as I can. Uh, enjoy the chat, and then switch over to get more of my miles done. But yeah, it should be interesting. We got a special, we got everyone in special jerseys, and we all get a ride, Cannondales, so. Should help pass the time, that's the point of it. All right, second ride of today. It's going well. Just got a PR up the volcano in Zwift. So, that was impressive. I'm at 17.9 miles, 754 feet of climbing, 48 minutes. Trying to get 30 in on this ride, and I'll still be on schedule. All right, two days to go, about 90 miles left. Um, Aaron's picking me up here shortly, um, well, a little over an hour. We're gonna go get some more parts for her, um, her Bombora so we could finish that on the live stream, which depending when I get this video done, well, it should be tonight, um, do a New Year's, the New Year's Eve party. But yeah, so I don't know why I started to do this challenge. I had hoped I'd be getting some of those miles in outside, but again, today it's 36 and rainy, and I just, that is not outside riding weather for me. I hate being wet and cold. Um, if it was, you know, in the high 20s and a little bit of snow, maybe, but that would also be hard to get all those miles done out there. So I'm going to jump on, see how many miles I could get in um, before Aaron gets here. And hopefully it's enough that I'm not riding like crazy on New Year's Eve to get this challenge done. So, all right, see ya. I still need to clean this place up from last night's live stream, but getting ready to do another ride today, second one today, signed up for an 18 mile ride. It's um, Rigo Berto Rand's ride, another EF rider, their climber and grand tour contender. But it's funny because in the description it says he started this ride, but he's not gonna be here because he's now riding in Europe in real life. So he's off to Europe to get ready for the race season already. But um, I think it'll be cool to do a group ride anyways to help get through this next 18 miles. And then I'm almost done, just a few more tomorrow. So that was interesting. I was riding really well, riding with a group and going just a tiny bit above the power I normally ride, but getting the advantage of being in a group in the draft made it worth it. And then my fan came unplugged. Um, I don't know if you've ever ridden indoors and if you haven't, uh, you can't ride without a fan. You just start burning up. I mean, it's something you don't think about as much when you're out on the road. You're just getting the breeze on a hot day, you know, but yeah, so we were on a descent and I was waited, put in some hard pedals, took a foot out of the cage, reached down, plugged the fan back in, started pedaling again, and I had lost my group and I ended up in no man's land for like five miles. And the point of a group ride is to ride with a group. So I was getting none of the advantage. The group in front of me, I put it out there for a long time to try and catch them, but I couldn't. And the group behind me was a little too far behind to wait up, but I finally did wait up for, or they finally caught me with their draft when I eased up a little bit. Uh, then I had a good sprint finish out of the group I was in. I ended up sprinting to third. Um, one guy went off down the road. I chased him down and caught him and brought a couple people with me. And then he attacked again. I couldn't go with him, but ramped it all the way up with the guy I was with. And he stayed just slightly ahead of me. But yeah, it was fun. It was a fun ride. It was, I tried to do like, like a tenth of a mile without the fan on. And you just realize right away, this 
is not possible I will die down here. So, all right, not too long to go, one more day. All right, so about to get changed to do the last day. Um, 38 miles about to go. Uh, right now I feel like I'm not really looking forward to it, so I hope when I get on the trainer, get on the bike, I feel a little bit better. But I'm trying to pick a flat route and then just ride it over and over again. I just want to get this done as quickly as possible and get on with New Year's Eve. Um, so yeah, see you on the road. All right, I've done 22 miles, 360 feet, kept it flat. I did my little route um, and then rode with a guy in a GCN kit that we traded off drafts, which was really nice almost the whole time. And then I did a U-turn to hit the flat to finish 22 miles. I'm gonna bonk, so I need to take a break and eat something and plus change the scenery. So uh, head to a different world and finish up the last 15 or so miles. So yeah, I ended up pulling it off. Um, that last ride, 16 miles, was pretty tough. Uh, it just felt like the time was crawling. Um, I'm just watching the tons count down. Um, but when I got to the last six miles, I just kind of went all out and was going as hard as I could, thinking the faster I ride, the faster I am done with this. But yeah, as I, as you can see, I said I did not intend to do this all indoors, but I did every single mile indoor. So not something I thought I could do. 500 kilometers over eight days or 310 miles in American. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm really kind of proud of myself. When I do like get in this mindset of a goal, for better or for worse, I really, a lot of times, will push till I get it done. So I think I'm gonna make a whole separate video with kind of conclusions and maybe even go through some of the numbers. Um, and I'll post that probably tomorrow. So if you're more interested in like some of the, um, more behind the scenes and the workings of Zwift and how this all went and how I feel about it. I'll have that up later. I think I'll leave this as just a vlog. I do already have a video about my trainer setup and um, the bike, the trainer, my thoughts on riding on Zwift, which haven't really changed too much. So I will link that in the description if you want to check that out too. All right. Well, Happy New Year's. Hope everyone had a as good of a holiday season as you can with the way things are now. And I look forward to keep on uploading in the new to the <laughs>